like over a hundred people. <laughs> um, I have so many things that uh, I'd like to say, and I'm not very good at uh, narrowing things down. Um, and I've never spoken at a, a rally before, so this should be interesting. Um, I just want to thank uh, NS Rap for inviting me to speak. Um, and I'd also like to thank the LGBTQ community of Halifax for being so supportive um, to me uh, this past fall when I needed it the most. Um, today I want to talk to you about walls. Um, not the, the real kind of walls, but uh, the walls that uh, we put up around ourselves quite, quite often. Um, Don't Be Afraid is uh, working with uh, Easter Seals Nova Scotia um, and through working with them I've come to learn their one of their slogans which is uh, working towards a barrier free Nova Scotia which I think is very applicable here um, and for all minorities uh, in Canada and in the world we need to be careful of the walls that we put up uh, to separate ourselves. Um, for example, uh, I don't like people of color, so I put up a wall and I avoid them or say racist things. Um, I don't like uh, the queer community, so I make homophobic or transphobic jokes um, and bam, there's a wall, you've segregated that community. Um, I don't like disabled people, uh, they make me feel uncomfortable, so you put up a wall and you ignore them. Um, and I think this happens more than we know, um, well, I'm talking, look who I'm talking to, we all know that it happens, but uh, more than society knows, <laughs> not this society, but society as a whole. Um, and on the other side of things, from our perspective, um, I'm afraid of homophobia and I'm afraid of people who are homophobic or transphobic um, and so I put up a wall when I hear anything that's ignorant or homophobic and I run from it or I talk about these people um, in a really bad way and nothing gets done or I'm afraid of society of being open and being myself so I put up four walls, close the door and I'm in a closet. Um, and I, I think we need to remember that they're just walls and you can bring them down much easier than the walls of a house. And the way that we can do that, I think the best way is to talk about it. It's just so easy, right? If, if you hear something that's ignorant or homophobic or transphobic, um, please have the courage to, to open up a discussion about what was said. Um, if you hear someone say, that's retarded, for example, take the opportunity to say, um, actually, that's uh, not an okay thing to say uh, because it's offensive to people with intellectual disabilities. If you hear someone say, that's so gay, um, take the opportunity to uh, gently say that is offensive to the gay community because you're attaching a negative connotation to the word, right? It's easy. Um, I'm not saying in every case that you can do that, but uh, I think most cases uh, it's easy to do that. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's not easy to do that, but nothing bad is going to come of that and I think we have to remember this is a rally and we stick together but when we leave this rally we need to be individual ambassadors uh, for our community and and take the opportunity when it presents itself um, anyway enough enough of, of walls um, I want to tell you a little bit about uh, this campaign that started back in October um, uh, called the Don't Be Afraid campaign. Um, when I was in the ICU uh, after my attack, 
I was the most afraid, I think, that I've ever been in my life. Um, I was afraid of dying, and then I was afraid of living with a disability, and then I was afraid at the thought that this could happen again, and that this even happened in the first place. Um, and my whole, my whole family was afraid, my community was afraid, and when my friend Katie, who was designing a, a button for an event in New Glasgow, asked me, what, what do you think the message should be, uh, Scott, on this, on this button? Um, I was, yeah, I was really low, and the first thing that came to mind was um, no fear. Um, but that couldn't work because that was a clothing line from the 90s, so <laughs> we went with uh, don't be afraid. Um, and so then it was a button. And then it grew into a photo campaign on Facebook uh, with the help of uh, my friend Charlotte in Montreal. We had tremendous support. People were sending in photos um, with the Don't Be Afraid sign, which you can see there, and another one uh, my niece Kaya is holding in the middle. Um, people painting their signs, standing in solidarity against homophobia and transphobia, pro-equality, um, it spread all over the world. There were 13 countries involved um, by the end of, uh, I think, by the end of March, and seven provinces. People were just standing up against homophobia and transphobia. And since the photo campaign, we've had events in New Glasgow and in Edmonton and in Calgary, and we're planning one for Halifax. And the best thing about it was we were talking about it. It was no longer this taboo subject in the wider community. We talk about it here, but uh, we have to be able to talk about it elsewhere. Uh, we hear people talk about their relationships, um, their heterosexual relationships all the time, but um, when you're out in public, in the workplace, for example, or at high school, it's uh, really uncomfortable to talk about your homosexual relationship um, and that's wrong and that needs to change and the beautiful thing about the event in New Glasgow was that people were talking about it. They were um, opening up. I had um, preconceived judgments about my community in New Glasgow and I really thought that it wasn't going to be well received because we don't talk about it that often there, but that it was the complete opposite, and everyone was engaging in conversation about it. Everyone left that space feeling inspired, and they went out into the community spreading that love, and that's really what it's all about. Don't be afraid is about looking at fear, acknowledging that it exists in your life, and that sometimes it it makes you put walls up and separates you from people um, and then trying to relinquish that fear and let love in um, I want you all to hold hands if you can just take the time Maybe some of you have an issue with personal space, but that's a wall that needs to come down right now. Problematic. Okay, close your eyes. All right, we gotta be really quiet for this. Close your eyes. Breathe in, and then out. Breathe in, and then out. Now when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in the happiest moment of your life. Breathe that in. And then when you breathe out, I want you to breathe out the scariest moment in your life. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out.
Thank you. Um, I got one of the signs that Scott was talking about. Do you want to display it? Scott's my Vanna. Um, so here's the Don't Be Afraid sign. I took it from a child. <laughs> I'm sorry. I promised to give it back. Such a bad person. I'm going to give Scott Jones a, a cold and I um, took a sign from a child. I'm going straight to hell after this rally. Um, okay. Uh, and we will be taking photos with the sign, right? Where am I sending folks? Okay, so, are we, are we done? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so after the next two songs, um, we're all gonna get together. Um, maybe we should just stay where we are, right here, but get in really close, and then we're gonna give you some colorful uh, pieces of paper, and the sign will be in the middle, and we're gonna do a huge Don't Be Afraid sign. Thanks, Scott.